It's a fast paced world these days for everyone, especially for families. And making meals fast and portable is sometimes required. Pam Nash, one of the recipe testers with the Beef Culinary Center, joins us now with just the thing for busy lifestyles. Pam, looks like you're going to build something that is a family favorite of ours when we go to livestock shows, and that's on-the-go beef tacos. Is that right? That's right. This recipe is a lot of fun. It's quick and easy. It's easy to customize to anybody's taste, mm -hmm. and they're just super fun. You can do them at barbecues. You can do them at birthday parties. They're really quick and easy to do. Well, let's get started. Okay, so we started, actually, we took a pound of ground beef, mm -hmm. and I used my favorite taco seasoning mix and three-quarters cup of water. Water, put it in a pan, cooked it all up. You cook your beef to 160 mm -hmm. for food safety and mix it all together and you get your beef mixture. Sure. Once you get your beef mixture, um, take your favorite chip. Yep. Today we have uh, nacho cheese chips. Sure. And then you can fill it with beef and then fill it with all of your favorite toppings. And again, no dishes to deal with when we're done. No dishes, easy to do. Very so good. first we'll go ahead. And put in a couple spoonfuls or forkfuls here. You bet. Or half a bowl. Or whatever half you prefer. a bowl. Whatever you want to do yeah. of your beef. I know my wife normally, we, we cook this in advance and then she has it in the refrigerator or cooler. And then we just put it in a crock pot to warm it up in time for, uh, for lunch meal. For lunch. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So once you get your beef in there, you can top it with your toppings. Today here, we have tomatoes. Yeah. I have shredded cheddar cheese. I have avocados, diced avocados. I have some chopped up cilantro. Oh yeah. I have shredded lettuce. I have salsa, of you course. Bet. And I have some green onions. Mm, it's delicious. And if I was making this for me to right. eat after my beef, I'm gonna start start with uh, diced tomatoes. Okay, perfect. And just throw those in. Oh sure, take all the tomatoes. <laughs> all tomatoes. right, what else? And then I'm gonna put in my shredded cheddar cheese because uh -huh. I love cheese. Yeah. Oh, I really yeah, love cheese. Yeah, you do love cheese. <laughs> and then I'm going to finish off with avocado. Well, you just will take all I the might avocados as well. Take all as well. Avocados. That's delicious. And then that's your serving bowl as well. That's how you eat it. Now, speaking of serving bowl, it looks like you did a couple of variations that you could actually eat at home, but these look a little different. Can you tell us more about these? Absolutely. We did five different variations on this. This first one we have is our chili cheese taco. And we use a corn chip. And instead of the taco seasoning, we used uh, chili seasoning in mm. the beef. The second one we have here is our Mediterranean. Mm. Instead of the taco seasoning, we use two teaspoons of Greek seasoning. And then we use a multigrain chip. Oh, wow. The third one we have is our ranch. We use, we take out the taco seasoning, we use a ranch packet Perfect. into the beef, and we use a ranch chip. The fourth one we have is the meat and potatoes taco. Oh. So we take out the taco seasoning, we use a gravy mix in the beef, and then we serve it over your favorite potato, potato chip. chips. And the last one, one of my favorites, mm -hmm. is the cheeseburger taco. So we take out the taco seasoning, we actually add ketchup and mustard into the beef, and then we serve it over our favorite cheese puff. That is delicious and so easy, and as you say, so much fun. Yeah. Thanks so much for bringing us this uh, great recipe with beef. Thank you. For on-the-go beef tacos and other great beef recipes, visit the website beefitswhatsfordinner.com or you can always find them on our website at cattlemantocattlemen.org.